going on in Philadelphia. Roger Grimsby is live in Philly right now where it's been non-stop music all day and that sounded like Neil Young in the background, Roger. Well, it's been billed as the concert to end world hunger. It has about as much chance of doing that as World War I had of being the war to end all wars. But it certainly has been a multinational effort involving the United States, Britain, Australia, Japan, even the Soviet Union. And certainly its pronounced purpose cannot be faulted. It began in London. 70,000 people filled Wembley Stadium. It was 7 a.m. in New York. Two hours later, the U.S. joined with Joan Baez and 90,000 people in Philadelphia's JFK Stadium. You are the children. You are the ones who make a fighter day. So let's stop living. Performers on both sides of the Atlantic then alternated in the telecast. It's probably safe to say that there is more going on off stage than on stage. At least more people. For instance, radio coverage worldwide, employing satellites and 1,400 radio stations. Television coverage is giving this program access to 85% of the television sets in the world. That's 600 million. The potential audience, one and a half billion people. The incredible scene was backstage. Hundreds of musicians, stagehands, and engineers giving a precision performance in changing equipment every 20 minutes on a stage that revolves. People who know this business were awed by the efficiency. For us, I think this is the best organized event of this magnitude that any of us will ever see. It's fabulous. Can you yell me your reaction to what's going on today? My reaction to what's going on today is just like everybody else's. I think it's a tremendous spirit out here. I think it's a wonderful thing. Uh, I'm very proud of rock and roll today and all their artists are doing for us. Beneath this tent, the performers and other celebrities have a place to rest and relax and watch on television sets what's going on on stage. I think this is the, the culmination of a whole lot of work, the 60s, the whole war movement. And the world has finally got a conscience that's going to speak out and we're going to have to be listened to. I shouldn't say I'm surprised, but I am, you know, because to, to amass that many people in one place and to have all these groups show up and have it pull off is, is a miracle. I think it's fate. It was hot here this afternoon, so the estimated 90,000 fans had almost 90,000 fans trying to keep comfortable. We talked to some of them. Is this living up to your expectations? Yeah, it's great. Are you kidding me? It's wild. It's the best concert I've ever been to. And I've been through a lot of them. More than we could dream of. It's really an incredible event. It's a happening, man. I have been too many happenings in the 80s. This is it. Covering something like this, you sometimes forget the main reason. The music. <laughs>
one could have spent the day here and not be impressed by the unity of purpose demonstrated by this gathering, nor not be amused by the fact that Madonna was introduced by Bette Midler. The sad truth is, this is not a panacea. Agriculture has to be resuscitated in the drought areas. And certainly a top priority would be the reordering of priorities for the Mangustu government in Ethiopia. But when all is said and done, everyone here, with the exception of the profiteers, can be sa safe in saying, we tried. They tried, they are trying, and they are trying beautifully. From JFK Stadium in Philadelphia, I'm Roger Grimson.